Could a short sleep during the day protect your brain? This is News Review from BBC Learning English. I'm Beth. And I'm Phil. Make sure you watch to the end to learn all the vocabulary that you need to talk about this story. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video and try the quiz on our website. Now, today's story. Our brains get smaller as we get older. But this doesn't happen as fast in people who take regular short sleeps during the day. That's according to a new study. Researchers suggest that these naps might reduce the risk of developing conditions like Alzheimer's in later life. You've been looking at the headlines. What's the vocabulary? We have power nap, sharp and hinder. This is News Review from BBC Learning English. Let's have a look at our first headline. This is from iNews. Power naps linked to greater brain capacity, scientists say. So brain capacity is about brain size and this headline says that it's linked to something called power naps. Now we're going to look at this phrase power naps, um, but Phil, the word nap, isn't that a short sleep that babies have? Well, anyone can have a nap, but we're looking at power naps. Now, these are short sleeps, usually during the working day, in order to be able to do your job better. And in fact, maybe I should have a power nap after recording this. Well, that might be good for your brain. Uh, that's what this headline is saying. Uh, but there are other types of nap, aren't there? Yes, you might have heard of a cat nap which is kind of similar, but it's not associated with work. And we have other words to talk about sleep, like snooze or to nod off and many others. OK, well, before our audience nods off, let's look at that again. Let's have our next headline. Yeah, this one is from The Times. Taking more naps could help you to stay sharp in later life. Now again, we're talking about naps and this article refers to another study which suggested that having naps can help our brains perform better. The word we're looking at is sharp. Now, Phil, I know a sharp knife, but what is a sharp brain? Well, you've probably guessed that it's a metaphor. If you describe someone as sharp, it means that they're alert and they can think quickly. Think about when you've had a good rest and you're feeling good. Everything just seems to be a bit easier. Yeah, and we use it to talk about people that always have a quick answer for something. We can say that they are sharp or that they have a sharp mind. Yes, and it's being used here to say that regular naps will keep your brain performing well. Yes, just like how practicing your English every day will keep your language skills sharp. OK, let's look at that again. OK, next headline, please. This one is from the Daily Express. Naps could help or hinder your health depending on their length, study suggests. Now, this is actually referring to a different study um, and it says that long naps can be associated with obesity, while shorter naps can reduce the risk of high blood pressure. We are looking at the word hinder and this is often used with the word help, isn't it? It is, but it means the opposite. To hinder means to make things harder or worse. Now, here we're looking at health. So the headline is saying that some naps, shorter ones, are helpful, while others, longer ones, are unhelpful. That's right. And hinder is not that common in spoken English, but it is often used with the word help. And that's because of those two H's, hinder and help. Um, so, for example, if 
something turns out to be less useful than you expected it to be, it might actually hinder rather than help you. I could also say that having to work hinders me being able to take naps regularly. That's right. Okay, let's look at that again. We've had power nap, a short sleep during the day. Sharp, alert and quick thinking. Hinder, to make something difficult or worse. Now, there's more about sleep in this video where we ask, are late nights bad for your health? And don't forget to subscribe here so you never miss a chance to learn more English. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye.